Hello everybody, this is Ian here, and this is my first World of Tanks video. So, I am playing in the SU-5 Tier 4 Russian Artillery piece, and the map is Canada, and it is a Tier 6 game, so I am bottom tier. Joy. But, this is the game that I got my masteries on my SU-5. And... The SU-5 is a good, it's a good artillery piece. It has a 152 millimeter gun, which is the same width as the BL-10, which is on the Tier 9 Russian tank destroyer. So just imagine the BL-10 at Tier 4. That's the game. And like most artillery, it has four A, four reload, with high damage. There are two other shortcomings of this tank, and one is the aim. which is not good. You can't even reach the other side of this map. I blind fire once. And the other problem is the the ammo. There's only 12 shells, which means that you run out of shells really quickly. And it's it's not even got a slow reload. It's like 19 seconds. So if you fire a shell every second, well, not every second, every time that you're you're totally reloaded, you're gonna run out of shells in less than four minutes, and that's what happens in this game. So I fire at this M M6, and yeah, that's why the gun. Penetration. And so yeah, I just ruined his game, and I wait for my gun to reload, and I fire again at the M6, but. I'm artillery. And at this point, we, the, first, the first two die, we lose a Cromwell, and someone kills the, the T1 Heavy. I called it an M6, it's a T1 Heavy. So I start aiming up at this Hellcat, but I decide to go for the OI instead, Japanese Tier 6 Heavy. And speaking of OIs, I would like to point out the OI, which has so far camped the base the entire game. He's going to be important later. So, I assume that I hit him. Hit the OI the last shot, because there was an explosion. It looks like it bounced. So, I fire again. Yeah. Enemy armor is hit! There's the 152mm gun again. And I take a bit of a risk here. I aim up again, even though I blind fire at him. Even though he's not there, but he's a heavy tank. He all heavy tanks. They don't move when artillery gets them, so yeah. Enemy armor is destroyed. Now I need to find a new target. Now I've used half my shells. See the this, uh, T28 over here. Got a bit lucky here. Didn't, didn't even aim to fire. Yeah, flash damage. So now I have five shells left. And I don't even know why I tried shooting at this guy. Considering he's a light tank and I'm artillery. But I shoot at him and it... Shoot at him in a second here. Yeah. I shoot at him, but I actually get lucky and he's going to attack him. And then... Uh, one guy's in... At this point, we spot the enemy artillery, and the one actually comes out, and I shoot him and manage to hit him and track him. And at this point, I was trying to get a, get a mission, uh, fire on heavy tanks, which you have to do at least 1,000 damage to heavy tanks in the game. And the um, secondary condition is kill an enemy tank, so yeah, I just got enemy armor is fire destroyed. on heavy tanks. So, I've completed a mission in this game, and I have three kills. The game is looking pretty good, except that I have two shells left, and now we're losing. Seven to ten. Looking for a shot here. Can't find it, so I move up a little bit. There's range is coming in here, so I move up a little bit to get a better shot. The Jackson shows up. On the other side of the rails. I have a battle assistant mod installed. Yeah, I'm missing Jackson. 
battle assistant, uh, it just it changes the artillery view. And so now I have one shell left. It's just great, isn't it? Here comes the an M7. This is the guy I fire on. Comes out. Fire. And of course I miss. It looks like the M44 hit him though. Did some damage. So now I'm out of ammo. And since I'm artillery, what else am I gonna do? I can do light to ram, I'm too slow to scout. So I'm just gonna go try to cap the base. And get as much as I can. And then when everyone shows up on this side of the map, and there was only gonna be one outcome to this. We're done for! Everyone so get I'm out! Dead. And now we're losing the 9th. Losing the 9th. And we have the, the OI who has stayed at the base the entire time, and we have this m gets tracked by um, the T-3045. That's lucky because the Hellcat just gets fully obliterated. It's lucky because the SU-5, we've seen what the S, what an SU-5 can do to an OI earlier on in this game. And here comes the M7 that I fired my last shell at. It's on low health. Chases after him, and yeah. So now it's just the Cromwell and the SU-5. OI waits to reload. SU-5 misses again. OI goes to flank Cromwell, but you know, Cromwell's gone. He's long gone. So at this point, the OI tries to camp in a bush. Doesn't really work. I'd front half of his tank is coming up. At this point, we've, we've almost, the game's almost, we've almost run out of time, and it's going to be a draw if he doesn't make it to the cap circle. Hurry up, oh, I, I did really good this game, and I think I might get a mastery out of it, so please hurry, because if it's a draw, then I'm not going to get one. Hurry, so uh, we've run out of time. I guess we're just going to have to settle for a draw. And it's about this point that we find out where the SU-5 has been hiding this whole game as he fires. It bounces. OI misses, blows up the tanker. Then, wait, it's the Cromwell. We can win this game. And the SU-5 has a stop gun with the reload and the damage. Cromwell. So, yeah. This turned from a almost certain draw to a possible victory. So I rolled up. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Just. And. Yeah. And. Yeah, that was my mastery game. I got a mastery in SU-5, completed my mission, and it was a very good game. The OI actually won that game for us, and got a Klobinovs out of it. But wait, the video's not over yet, because I have one more thing to show you. This was about two games after that mastery game that you just saw. And this is... This is where... This is the mistake that I made because of the range of my artillery piece. And see, yeah, I got uh, another Master Star there on the shield thing. 
So yeah, this game was looking really good, so I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. It's on uh monster. Let's get show on the road. You know it's uh, um blind fire one. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to where you're going in artillery. Uh, take some damage. The I roll over. We can only talk locally. My radio is destroyed, which means I'm not going to be able to spot anybody. But I actually managed to survive that. Oh. The slip the tank uh, almost takes me out. But oh no, there's a baby one here. This is the ground. I try to shoot it. I hope you enjoyed my first World of Tanks replay, and I'll see you next time. The antenna is damaged. We can only talk locally.